Born on March 24, 1919 in Salem, West Virginia, Melvin Mayfield would go on to earn the highest decoration in the United States military, the Medal of Honor. What makes this story incredible is not only the actions that Melvin took to protect his men. He would earn his Medal of Honor just a couple months shy of the official end of World War II when America dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, and then three days later on to Nagasaki, forcing the Japanese Empire to surrender on September 2, 1945. Melvin joined the Army from Nashport, Ohio in February 1941, and by July 29, 1945, was serving as a corporal in Company D, 20th Infantry Regiment, 6th Infantry Division. On that day, in the Cordillera Mountains, Luzon, the Philippines, he single-handedly attacked four enemy positions. For this action, he was awarded the Medal of Honor 10 months later, on May 31, 1946. The Philippines was considered to be of great strategic importance because their capture by Japan would pose a significant threat to the U.S. As a result, 135,000 troops and 227 aircraft were stationed in the Philippines by October 1941. However, Luzon, the largest island in the Philippines, was captured by Imperial Japanese forces in 1942. General Douglas MacArthur, who was in charge of the defense of the Philippines at the time, was ordered to Australia, and the remaining U.S. forces retreated to the Bataan Peninsula. A few months after this, MacArthur expressed his belief that an attempt to recapture the Philippines was necessary. The U.S. Pacific Commander Admiral Chester Nimitz and Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Ernest King both opposed this idea, arguing that it must wait until victory was certain. MacArthur had to wait two years for his wish. It was 1944 before a campaign to recapture the Philippines was launched. The island of Leyte was the first objective of the campaign, which was captured by the end of December 1944. This was followed by the attack on Mindoro and later, Luzon. On July 29, 1945, Corporal Melvin Mayfield displayed conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty while fighting in the Cordillera Mountains of Luzon, Philippine Islands. When two Filipino companies were pinned down under a torrent of enemy fire that converged on them from a circular ridge commanding their position, Corporal Mayfield, in a gallant single-handed effort to aid them, rushed from shell hole to shell hole until he reached four enemy caves atop the barren fire-swept hill. With grenades in his carbine, he assaulted each of the caves while enemy fire pounded about him. However, before he annihilated the last hostile redoubt, a machine gun bullet destroyed his weapon and slashed his left hand. Disregarding his wound, he secured more grenades and dauntlessly charged again into the face of point-blank fire to help destroy a hostile observation post. By his gallant determination and heroic leadership, Corporal Mayfield inspired the men to eliminate all remaining pockets of resistance in the area and to press the advance against the enemy. While the campaign for the Philippines was still in progress, U.S. forces were making great steps in the direct advance toward their final objective, the Japanese homeland. Aerial bombardment was, of course, the prerequisite of the projected invasion of Japan, which was to begin, it was imagined, with landings on Kyushu, the southernmost of the major Japanese islands. Throughout July 1945, the Japanese mainlands, from the latitude of Tokyo on Honshu northward to the coast of Hokkaido, were bombed just as if an invasion was about to be launched. After four years of intensive and ever-mounting research and development efforts, an atomic device was set off on July 16, 1945, in a desert area near Alamogordo, New Mexico, generating an explosive power equivalent to that of more than 15,000 tons of TNT. Thus, the atomic bomb was born. Truman, the new U.S. president, calculated that this monstrous weapon might be used to defeat Japan in a way less costly of U.S. lives than a conventional invasion of the Japanese homeland. Japan's unsatisfactory response to the Allies' Potsdam Declaration decided the matter. On August 6, 1945, an atomic bomb carried from Tinian Island in the Marianas and especially equipped B-29 was dropped on Hiroshima, at the southern end of Honshu. The combined heat and blast pulverized everything in the explosion's immediate vicinity, generated fires that burned almost 4.4 square miles completely out, and immediately killed some 70,000 people. The death toll passed 100,000 by the end of the year. A second bomb, dropped on Nagasaki on August 9, 
killed between 35,000 and 40,000 people, injured a like number, and devastated 1.8 square miles. It's because of these brave men like Corporal Melvin Mayfield that stood up in the face of danger and went beyond the call of duty to eliminate enemy aggression with precise and violent action. And it is because of these actions he was awarded the Medal of Honor. Corporal Mayfield went on to have a family after the war and live a long life. He would pass away on June 19, 1990 in St. Louisville, Ohio, U.S. He was 71 years old. What's up guys, that dead guy popping out at the end here to say thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, because I'd love to hear your thoughts or opinions on this newest series I've been working on. At the moment, I'm calling it Dead Guy History, where together we learn about historical figures who may or may not be well known from all eras of history, and are, of course, certified badasses. So if that's something that you're interested in, stop on by and uh, let's see what we can learn.